Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Building a Barra in Lego. So if you guys watched my previous episode, you guys would know that I'm very, very close to uh, actually completing the mock, just having a little bit of section of terrain. But here we have most of the parts that I ordered. Um, I still have a couple packages coming in, but those are just more for um, like single specific pieces. But I'd say bulk orders, one of these is um, like all the tiles and um, um, some plates and stuff to really get the terrain going. And then I have some more pieces um, here that I've already unboxed. And really this, these types of pieces for the plants and that sort of stuff that I'll be getting in hopefully within the next couple days or so so I can uh, get to work on those as well. But before I get into um, unboxing these uh, these parts here, I would like to also mention one quick little thing. And that is that we have a brand new sponsor to the channel, kind of like my, kind of really my first sponsor. That is a good friend of mine, Bricks by Bricks. I'm sure you guys have heard of him before, um, at least on my channel. You guys probably know him outside. He has a pretty big following on Instagram. But if you guys didn't know, he's kind of re been revamping his website recently. He's been producing a lot of new products. Going to be... He's doing a lot of his own decals as well, which is awesome. And he's going to be doing a big uh, release on his website very, very soon. And depending on when this video comes out, I'm not exactly sure. But it's either out or coming out very, very soon. So there'll be a link down to his website down in the description below. Be sure to go check him out. And then while you're there, you can also use code BBP for 5% off. So, you know, a little bit of a discount and also help support me directly. So that'd be awesome if you guys could go and give him a look. But I guess without any further ado, let's go ahead and get these things unboxed. Or I guess I should probably start with the pieces that I've already got unboxed. Um, so first we just have some of these long um, black rods. I'm not exactly sure the length of these, but I have more of these coming. And these are basically for making the uh, the plants, um, my plant design that I came up in the last video. So super awesome to get those. These are, these are gonna be used for like the biggest um, version of the plants. I've also got some of these kind of tentacle tentacle pieces that you've probably seen a lot in different Umbara mocks used a lot. So I just got a couple of these. I kind of plan on throwing these around the mock just because building these plants were pretty expensive, especially the uh, the clip pieces. So I kind of want to have kind of a backup little plant thing that I could throw in there. And I also plan on using these for the kind of um, Sarlacc pit creature that is on a bar. If I plan on building that, I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, I got some of those as well. Then we've also got some one by one tiles thrown in there that, you know, just were, just were cheap on the store. So threw them in there as well. Now let's go ahead and get to uh, these packages right here. All right, and in this first one, it looks like we got these clip pieces that I was talking about. Um, that I used to build those um, those plants, and these were actually very pretty expensive pieces, especially in bulk, because I need you know I need hundreds of them to uh, to build these plants. But managed to actually find some pretty good prices with them um, for these pieces used, and you know these don't look 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 like they're in terrible condition, um, but yeah, seem to get a pretty pretty good price for them in uh, in use, which is awesome. Because if I if I couldn't uh, find them in, in in a good price like that, I probably would have had to switch my uh, plant design just because they were so expensive but luckily got a huge discount just buying them used and we'll go ahead and crack into this one here this is one I was talking about where I got all my um my tiles and such kind of like the bulk pieces so you know we've got a pretty decent amount of two by two tiles here I actually had um, a decent amount left after the last episode so you need too many of those I don't think hopefully I got enough of all these pieces got some more one by two tiles uh, some more one by two tiles some one by ones in there as well some one by one plates, some more one by one tiles, and then some we got some of those claw pieces in there, and some of those um, bigger claw pieces in there. So just kind of kind of restocking everything a little bit. I kind of you know did some rough rough estimates to hopefully figure out how many pieces I need. So I really hope this is enough. But yeah, that's kind of my uh, little parts haul parts haul here to begin this episode. We'll be getting more later on this episode. So I'll probably do a little bit of um you know, hauls here and here throughout um, throughout this episode. But yeah, let's go ahead and get these things opened up and get to work on the mock. All right, so I've done a little bit of building and I have a little bit of a, of a progress update for you guys. So first thing you might notice is that I've started, I did a little bit of a design for this, like, um, I know someone someone left a name for it in the comments, the actual name, but I, I just like calling it the uh, Sarlacc Pit and barring the Sarlacc, Sarlacc Pit. So, uh, but yeah, have the sword like pit here and not super happy with the signs definitely looks too bulky but i def i have another idea in mind that i'm going to try um later on so you know this isn't bad i definitely feel like it's a little bit too like um chunky though and kind of a too you know it's a, this doesn't really fit with the sleek design that i'm going with and another problem i've had with these uh tentacles is that um so i only have like these two pieces so they really aren't they really aren't long enough to really you know to look that good if I just have it, all of them the same length. So I'm gonna have to be ordering some some more pieces to try to extend these or at least some of these. So I won't be able to fully complete this creature in today's episode, but we'll definitely get a good start and I will try to um, that other design later on this episode. But I've also got some work done over here. Quite a lot of just um, 
just plate placing. And one problem I ran into is I was actually running out of these little um, black one by two pieces or plates or just kind of plates in general. I was also using just some two by two ones as well. But the reason I have to put those there is to just block the uh, the tan from bleeding through. And since I don't have a ton of just black plates, like big plates like this, I have a ton of tan though. So I've just been using that as the uh, the underwork, but was was actually running out of these, which I didn't expect to do, but I did just do some digging, was able to find, you know, some more some more plates to use so we'll be able to at least um, hopefully finish up this section right here so that's at least a positive i've also got another light added in here that works as well as i added this little detachable um plate here that where i can access the uh the light box or the battery box in here and you know easily remove that and take it off or put it back on uh, whenever i need to turn on and off those lights which is awesome and then here i'll just give you a little bit better look at the hill got a little bit of the tiling up here I plan on doing some more now that I've got some black plates and then I've really just got you know this little section here to uh to plate up which I do plan on definitely completing that's just kind of a, a question to how much tiling I can get done with the uh the limited plates that I have which I'll be able to find more if I dig through some more bins but I'm trying to get some work done with this right now um actually plan on shooting a time lapse for this as well just to give you guys a little bit of a look into into the build uh, but yeah let's go ahead and jump right into it All right, and we are back. The mock's pretty messy right now, but I'm pretty sure the last thing that I ended up filming or the last thing you guys should have seen was the uh, the time lapse. So as you can see, I've got some other stuff that I've worked on since then, but I guess I'll just jump into kind of looking at the terrain first. That's done a nice job. I, re I really think it looks really good. Um, basically the same thing as you've been seeing uh, over there. Not quite able to finish up this in this episode. I should be able to have the parts to, uh, to tile off this area. Um, but not be able to get to it in this um, this episode just because it's pretty late on uh, Wednesday night right now. And I wanted to get the uh, the video edited and done tonight just because I won't be able to do it tomorrow. But really, really happy with how it's looking so far. And I'm sure it'll continue as I as I build out this part over here. But with that being said, we've also got some other progress over here. Most notably, we've got the Sarlacc pit over here, which I have redesigned. Um, as I said earlier in the episode, I didn't really like the design that I had going. And I definitely like this one a lot better. I definitely think there's a few, twe a few tweaks and it's definitely some more um some more detail i'm gonna do further on in and probably add a couple more teeth as well but overall i do like the design a lot better i feel like it's a little bit more sleeker you know a little thinner a little bit less you know um kind of there a little bit more in the background so of course still need to add uh add like all the tentacles and stuff to that but uh, once again a little bit short on time so i wasn't able to get to that today but overall i'm i'm fairly happy with how this looks but of course i'd love to get see what you guys uh, think down in the comments to let me know if you think i should stick with the design or try to come up with some other some other way of designing this overall i think it looks I think it looks at least half decent but you guys may also notice i've got this weird looking thing over here and um this is basically the plants that i mentioned last last episode but finally able to got finally got some parts to actually build them and this one is the, probably the, going to be the biggest one on the uh, on the mock. Not exactly sure if that's exactly where it's going to go, but I kind of want to have it somewhere in the middle, um, with some other smaller ones around it. But this is just how it's kind of looking. Uh, it is kind of hard to do, at least, especially with the uh, the bigger ones. The small ones that I had with for the example was a little bit easier to uh, to like situate and make it look nice. But this one's you know fairly well situated. It's, it's a little bit off. I definitely want to we'll work on that more later on, just to kind of give you an idea of how it's going to look. And not too sure exactly what I'm gonna do with the top yet, or like um, if I want to keep it this big. Not exactly sure if I like it this height, um, you know, being this tall. But it's definitely getting there. I've actually got two more packages over there with um, some more parts to complete these, which I'll get to in just a second. And later on, I should be getting on getting some more rods. They haven't come yet, but I have ordered some like different size rods um, from Bricklink, so I'll be able to build, you know, pretty much all of them in the next episode, which should hopefully be the finale. I'm not exactly too sure on that if we're gonna need. 
um, the next episode or um, two more episodes. Basically in those packages, I just had to, to unbox them real quick. I've just got some more of these um, droid pieces like I said earlier. Um, also got like a, another huge bag of them over here. So I have plenty of those droid arms. And I've also got some of these uh, pink studs which will actually go in the middle of these uh, these plants right here. Um, the front of mock is actually on this side so you'll see them from the front over there. This is gonna be the back of the plant. But if you actually go and look on the Umbara in episode, you see a lot of these kind of like tall you know, purple plants that have like this kind of purpley like light up um, thing in the middle. So that's what I'm trying to recreate this plant. I think these uh, these studs will go nicely with that. All right, so I actually decided to uh, quickly throw on those studs to the plant just to give you guys a little bit of a better look to see what I have in mind. And I actually decided to throw in those uh, those black studs kind of at the, as, as a last minute thing, but I actually think, I don't know if I like them or not. It is a little bit more accurate because it actually breaks up the uh, the pink like it is in the, uh, the show, but I'm not too sure if I'll, if I'll keep them. I'll definitely try it out with just the pink studs. But that's basically a good idea of how it's going to look. I did actually flip it around as well just so it's a little bit easier to uh, to get a good look at. But once again, I'm not too sure if I like having the plant being this tall. I think I'll definitely shorten them down a little bit. Most of them will be shorter than this, but as the you know the tallest one, I'm not sure if I want to have it quite that tall. But I'm, I'm honestly really, really um, happy with this design. It's a pretty challenging plant to recreate, so I think... Definitely think this uh, this design gets the job done. But with that, that is going to about wrap up today's episode. Sorry for it being a little bit rushed towards the end, but I was trying to get this video out um, kind of in a timely manner because I did run a little bit behind um, with the building and stuff. Next couple of episodes are definitely going to be a big one. Next episode, I should be able to uh, basically complete all of the terrain. I'm not sure if it's going to be included in the finale. I might just do a big kind of one finale video with, you know, with everything with the building with the figures with the you know the ships and that sort of stuff but we'll get to that and i'll kind of figure out what i want to do with that um later on that is going to be the end of this video those who did going to enjoy it i greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a like but other than that i'll see y'all in the next video bye, bye.